Welcome! In this video, we're going to show how to install Roots Magic. Now, this particular video, we're going to discuss how to install Roots Magic from the CD. If, on the other hand, you want to learn how to install from a download, we've created a separate video that covers that topic. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is take the CD that you received, put it into your CD-ROM drive, and go ahead and close that. Now, Windows is going to come up and ask, what do you want to do with that CD that you just put in the drive? And it depends on what version of Windows as to what that message looks like. Windows 8 will ask you to tap this right here, and then it'll bring up a little menu with some options. You can run the auto run or do some other things. Now, it doesn't matter what version of Windows you actually use, you will have something very similar to this menu. It may be a little menu in the middle of the screen or whatever, uh, but they will have an option that says something along the lines of run auto run.exe published by Roots Magic. And that's the option you want. So go ahead and click on that. And Windows um, is going to bring up the Roots Magic installer with three options. The first of those is install Roots Magic. The second and third are to be able to install a free version of our Personal Historian Essentials program in case you want to kind of play with that and see what that program is like and also to visit our website. So what we want to do is we want to install Roots Magic. We want to bring up the installer. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now at this point Windows is going to ask you if the installer should be allowed to actually modify Windows. In other words, let's go ahead and install the program. When it does that, a dialog box is going to pop up and ask if you want to do that, yes or no. It's going to say yes or no, and you're going to go ahead and click the yes button on that screen that, that came up. Now, I don't know if that screen actually showed because it goes into a special kind of mode where it kind of hides everything behind it, but if that screen didn't show up, as I mentioned, on your system, you will click that Yes button. And that brings up the actual installer and basically is telling you, Welcome to the setup. We're ready to install. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. Roots Magic is going to ask if you accept the license agreement, which basically is just you're not going to give copies of the license, the full you know, registered program and everything to your friends and neighbors and stuff like that. Go ahead and read through that. Accept it, click Next. Roots Magic's then going to ask what folder on your computer you'd like to install the program in. Go ahead and use the default and click Next. It then asks what folder uh, on the Start menu you want to put it. Again, go ahead and accept the default and click Next. And then finally, it asks for a couple of extra things. Do you want to create a desktop icon? In other words, do you want a shortcut up here on your desktop that you can double click to start Roots Magic. If you do, go ahead and create a desktop icon. If you'd like an icon down here on the taskbar that you can click to start it, then choose the Create a Quick Launch icon. Now, I don't actually want one of those. I just want the icon on my desktop. So I'm going to choose that and click Next. Roots Magic Installer is then going to show you the options you've selected and just make sure they're the ones you wanted and click install. Roots Magic Installer is going to install the program and then it's going to come up and say, okay, we're done. We've installed it. And you'll notice up here, we have now installed and we have a shortcut for Roots Magic and we also have a shortcut for the Roots Magic to go utility. Uh, and the Roots Magic to go is covered in another video. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it, yes, go ahead and launch Roots Magic. Uh, when it finishes. So I'm going to click on finish and it's going to come up and it's going to give me the option. Um, oh, before I continue, this is still that installer menu and we finished installing. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that screen out. Okay. Now the Roots Magic program gives me two options. If I am just going to want to use the free version, I can click use Roots Magic Essentials free version. It'll take me right into the program and I can get started. On the other hand, if I've bought Roots Magic and I have that registration key, I want to unlock that full version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on 
uh, unlock. I'm going to enter my name and then I'm going to enter the registration key that came uh, inside the DVD or the CD case or that was in the email. I have to have both my name and that key and then I click unlock. Okay, now the program is unlocked. So all those features uh, in the paid version are now unlocked and Roots Magic's asking me one final thing. Do you want to register your copy of Roots Magic? And the easiest way to do that is to select register online and continue. Now the reason you want to register is if you ever lose that registration key, you can then give us a call or you can go to our website or you can email us and we can tell you what your registration key was so that if you ever have to reinstall the program on, uh, on your computer or install it onto another computer and you can't find that key, you can get that. Now I'm just going to say register later and skip that, but if you do register online, it just takes you to a little form on our website and you just fill in the blanks and you're good to go. So I'm going to say register later and it's going to tell me, hey, it's really important to register and here's why. Okay, and now it's going to take me into the Roots Magic program. Now you'll notice that the first thing that I actually see is a thing saying, hey, there's an update that's now available. The reason for that is the CD, while we keep as current of a version as we can on the CD, when we release minor updates, we don't go destroy all the CDs in our in the warehouse and you know spend two weeks printing new ones. We go ahead and use up the CDs that we have. And so they may not have the absolute latest version. And so when you run the program, it's going to notify you, hey, there's a little bit later version than what you have. And so I'm just going to say, go ahead and install that update. When I do that, Roots Magic is going to download the update for me. And then it's going to say, okay, it's going to close so that the update can be installed. Okay, and it again asked me that permission. Do you want to let, uh, let it make changes to your computer? And you're going to say yes. And that's it. You are now in Roots Magic. You'll notice that the little update notice is not here anymore because we are now using the latest version of Roots Magic. If you want to see what version of Roots Magic you have, you can come up here to the help menu and then go down here to about Roots Magic and it will show you what version of Roots Magic you are running at any time. On the other hand, if you'd like to see if there are any updates available, you can do that anytime as well by clicking on help and then check for updates. And when you do that, Roots Magic will tell you whether or not you're using the most up-to-date version or if there is an update available, there will be a button right here where you can click and it will step through and do that update just like you saw me do earlier. And that is how you install Roots Magic from the CD.